Okay, everybody, welcome back to the DGS2605 channel for our MLB Power Pros 2008 season mode with your Toronto Blue Jays. So, we handed... We got a win against the Cleveland Indians, 24-2. We were trailing in that game, I do remember that. It's been a couple days since I recorded. Gonna get right back into it. We're currently absolutely destroying them. Olympi Dank's on the mound. Putting in J Jeremy Guthrie. Say JG. We gotta come up with a good nickname for him. Alrighty, 1.93 ERA. He's looking he, not in the greatest condition, but hopefully uh, Escobar over there. I can't remember his first name. I recognize it, though. Doesn't play as well, so they're going to throw the first pitch to us, so we'll do it now. Okay! Blue Jays! Let's play ball! Let's get into it. All right, second game of the series. Uh, Yankees lost. That's a good sign. And it's our turn to play ball. So 2042, I can't even... Once again, you know, it was Tim Wakefield pitching, and once again, it showed that even if he didn't perform that well, he absolutely did, that he didn't even really need it because how many runs we scored. All right, getting into it here. Here's... I want to say it's... You know, it's a name I can't pronounce, the K. Escobar, but anyways, there's first pitch to Rich Aurelia, excuse me, for ball one. Strike one with the changeup. Wind is heavily in the hitter's favor. Strike two. Ball two. Hits a Giambi, steps on the bag, out number one. Here's Ray Durham, 464, 730. Ball one. Ball two. I call one our way. Very nice. It seems we're going to see how uh, favorable the wind is for us today. A quick 3 and 0 oh count. Just in case he sends one your way, just wait on it. Or strike one. Strike two. Payoff pitch to Ray Durham. Here it comes. And that's hit up the middle. Khalil Green gets it. Over to first. Second out of the game. Alrighty, at least drew his pitch count up a bit there. Here's Burke Nowitzki. I think we're going with that now. Burke Nowitzki. What's his number? I might have to change it to 41, but the 17 suits him. Because that's the number Dirk Nowitzki wears. Anyways, a 1-1 count now to Burke Nowitzki. Oh. 1-2 and two now. 2-2. Two and two. Infield moves back. What's up? Makes great contact, and that's going for a base hit. Will it be extras? Cleet Thomas. And stayed in front of it, limits him to a single. The Rios is up. 4-43, 17-67. And Rios makes solid contact, and that's going to be... Oh, just out. Thomas just got there. So left one man on. Here we go to the bottom of the first now. Let's see what Jeremy can do. Facing off against Frank Core. That one's hit right to Berkman. Runs it down. Steps on the bag for the first out. And the win is still in favor for the Cleveland Indians batting now. Here's Belliard. Or Bellard. That's good. You know, for a second I got scared because he has the same like hair as Manny Ramirez. Line to Durham. He's got it. Second out. Aurelia, you really got to be prepared for those practice throws, man. All right, here's Big Poppy. I wonder what racist, like, Native American term they would come up in exchange for Big Poppy, like Big Pawnee. I'm not sure. Anyway, he just hit a solo shot over the center field wall. So now it's one nothing Indians. All right, Jeremy, it's whatever. Just shake it off. That's only a sixth home run on the season somehow. You know what? He must just play better at home. ZRA is over two now. Here's Chipper Jones. Strike one. Oh, that was a weak pitch right to Berkman. We got lucky there. Steps on the bag into the inning. So they're one for one. We're 0 for one. Leading off the top of the second for your Toronto Blue Jays is Ryan Braun. 80 RBIs. 4 oh, 4 4 4 batting average in this game's a Japanese game. And if you guys didn't know, 
like the Japanese equivalent to 666 is uh just the number four repeated because the way the number four is pronounced is the same as uh their word for death anyways Braun just absolutely killed that ball speaking of death hit the Mr. Steven sign out there and he's got himself a single here's Mike Lowell 2146 just fouled that one off. Foul ball. I think that was a strike anyway. Count is 0-1 to Mike Lowell. And that was a weak pitch. And that's going into the center left gap. Outfielders running it down. Move, guys. Move. And all right. Mike Lowell's on second now. We got Braun on third for the sacrifice fly. And here's Luke Scott. Matchup we want right here, right now. Ball one. And pulls that one right to the side perfectly. A sacrifice is still available, but it's a 1-1 game. I didn't even check Escobar's ERA. So it's high. We can assume as it was above 7 when we came into the game. That's Leduca. Takes strike 1. Takes 2. Makes good contact with it right when we needed it. Let's test him. And he scores safely. All right, we got the lead, two to one. Now here's Curtis Granderson. Wild pitch gets by, and we have another sacrifice available. So now it's a 1-0 count. And he pulls that one right by. Yeah, run back to third. All right, steps on the bag to get Granderson out. Richard really from the top of the lineup already in the top of the second with two outs. See if he can get Scott home. It's strike one. And a weak pitch, and that's going to right field. Bounces. 3-1 now. And already here is Ray Durham. 7-30. and 30. The man on, but we still have that win in our favor. You know, Burke, Burke Nowitzki's up next. Uh-oh. That's it right up to the shortstop. Green over. And that gets him. So we got the lead back by decent margin. It's now a two-run lead, one-run cushion for Guthrie to work with. Bottom of the second coming up, and Jason Jombi leads off. 209, 615. Strike one. Oh, hit that perfectly, but not exactly square. Durham over to Berkman for the first out. Once again, we got lucky there, too, because he read that pitch well. Khalil Green. Yeah, so outside of really just like Big Poppy and Chipper Jones, their offense takes like a sharp decline. This guy's the sixth spot in the lineup. He only has what, like five RBIs? Almost got him on the curve. One and two now. Hits that one back up. Durham runs at it. Great throw. Once again, it's really favoring that right side of the field. Here's Monroe, one and seven, two seven five batting average. Hit hard, Rich Aurelia, easy peasy. Three up and three down on ground outs for Jeremy Guthrie. Heading to the top of third now. So aside from, who knows, maybe he pitches a perfect game aside from that solo shot. Anyways, here's Escobar. Here's Berkman facing Escobar, excuse me. Ball one. And Berkman read that one just right. That's going to deep left field. Is that over the wall? Yes, it is. Solo shot for Burke Nowitzki. 33 on the season. Exactly 400 feet. And now it's a 4-run lead for Toronto. Or excuse me, 4-1 lead. A 3-1 lead. Worst lead you could have, theoretically. But no, now it's 4-1. Here's Alex Rios. So two solo shots, one way for each team. Big Poppy and Big Burke. Oh, that one's lined. Just over the head of the first baseman, Giambi. And Rios got himself a base hit. Now here's Braun. The win is slightly weaker, but you know what we're looking for. That one's hit hard, well fouled down the left line. Excuse me, right line. Funny in real life, how commentating. I'd probably never get left and right mixed up, but here on the spot... It's happening. That ball goes by for ball two. Ball three. 
And he pushes that one far. That's going right before the warning track. Frank Horror catches it. One out. Here's Lowell, one for one with a double. And he's keeping an eye over on uh, Rios. One of her quicker runners in the lineup. And right up the middle, Lowell is now looking for a cycle. He's got the two... He's got the one and the two out of the way. He needs three and the four. Here's Luke Scott, lefty ready matchup. We want men on first and second, one out. We have to keep in mind the double play is what they're probably aiming for here. There's ball two. Ball three, all right. Let the next one go by. I don't care how nice it is. There's strike one. Full count now. He's tired already, so he's a reliever. Scott hits that one. It goes foul. Staying alive for one more pitch. And he clobbers that one right on the money. Is that one going? Oh, go back. Outfielder Monroe is able to run that one down. I'm surprised. I thought that hit off the wall. And here's Loduca facing off against Escobar. This will probably be the last batter he faces. Quick strike one. Swinging early at that one. Strike two. And a weak pitch, and Loduca hits that. Jump by Bellard gets it. So they got it out of the jam there. If I had waited on the power, it might have been better. Bergman with the solo shot. Three run lead. Two run cushion for Jeremy Guthrie. Leading off against number eight, Vance Wilson. That is a name I'll probably never get used to saying. Who names their kid Vance? Okay, Lance, fair. Vance, like what? Okay, whatever. Anyways, a 1-2 count. Got him looking on that changeup. Very nice for the first out. All right, Cleet Thomas. Talk about a hillbilly name. Hits that one softly to Guthrie. He's just going to prance over, throw him out at first. Second out. Here's Frank Corr. Second time through the lineup. See how they do. So far, they've only got one hit, and it was a solo home run by David Ortiz. Strike one to Frank Corr. Reaching on that slider. Durham, Berkman, bada-bim, bada-boom. Three up and three down again. So, another perfect in inning for Guthrie. Top of the fourth coming up for your Toronto Blue Jays. Leading off his last batter in the lineup, Curtis Granderson. They're keeping Escobar in to face him. Ball one. And he's gassed. He threw one pitch. Oh, goodbye. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. And a solo shot by Granderson. He hit that almost 500 feet. He was two feet short. You get two foot long sandwiches from Subway and add it on to where the ball ends. That's 500 feet. Holy moly, I thought it was just goodbye, like, goodbye was the first one that came to my mind after that home run. Here's Clark with a legal ERA. Anyways, uh, I did not realize how far he hit that. Well, now it's a four-run lead, three-run cushion. It's a 5-1 game. We're not quite at batting practice yet, boys, but with how that wind is, I'll be a little more generous for your power swings. One, two, counting out a Rich Aurelia. That one's way up. 2-2 two, two now. Payoff pitch coming up. Makes good contact with that. But it's going to die out there in the outfield. Frank Corr is underneath it. That's the first out. And you got to wonder how much the uh, win had an effect in that. Ray Durham tonight 0 for 2. He's got to get a hit. Likes the first pitch he sees. Green likes it too because it's right to him. And over to Jombie for the second out. Berkman, you're two for two. You're looking for a cycle. Just checking his ERA. 16.4. It can still drive. Ball one. Comes the 1-0. Strike one. Ball two. Ball 
Kind of even two and two. And Perkman hits that one. That's also going to deep left field. Is that one going to have enough on it? It stays in the park. That's going to land as a single for him. So man on first, two outs for the Jays. Here's Rios. Hits the first pitch, fastball right over the plate. Is that one going? Just stays in the park ever so barely. But men are going to be on the corners with two outs, and it's long gone Braun up. Hit, and that's going foul. How much did it have on it? That thing was probably hit to the moon. Clark's tired. Ball one. And he hits that one. That one's going. Is that one gonna make it? There it is. Made it, oh, made it over the bullpen out there. Yeah, Granderson almost hit it like 90 extra feet than he did. Anyways, that's home run number 38 on the season for Braun. Gets a three run blast. That's probably gonna drive Clark off the mound. 8-1. There it is. Yep, he's out of there. His ERA is 20 now. Oh, it can almost drink in the United States. Here's Casilla. Anyway, Santiago Casilla, that ball was hit by Lowell, but that's going to be caught by Cleet Thomas. Lowell's looking for a cycle as well, so another four runs. We're eight for 12. They're still one for one. Jeremy, just keep on your A game. We have a seven-run cushion, or excuse me, six-run cushion for you to work with. Strike one on the corner to Belliard with the fastball. Hit that off the skinny part of the bat. That's going for a base hit up to center field. I apologize if you hear my stomach rumbling. I figured I'd rather record this in the next game, edit them, well, at least let one, you know, export. Then I can eat. Anyways, 0 2 count or tease. That one's going right to center field. Grinderson has it. So they finally broke through for another hit. Remains on first. One out. Chipper Jones. So 30. Let's go after this. So he's got 35 RBIs. I know our, like, we're the best hitting team ever, so ours are pretty balloon, but really you want to see how the RBIs are distributed on the team. Rios is going to run this one down. He's got it. He's safe in plenty of time. Here's Jombie. Lefty-righty matchup. This is not good for Jeremy, but he pulls that right to Lance Berkman, steps on the bag, and that's the end of the inning. Gave up the one hit. No big deal. Top of the fifth coming up. Leading off his number seven spot, Luke Scott. One for two tonight. He's earning himself a chance to swing for the fences. Broke his bat. That was a hell of a cut. And that's going right to Monroe. Can't get angry at him for that one. Broken bats happen. Uduka, 0 for 1. He does have a sack fly, but we need to see a base hit registered if he wants to swing. And he hits that one. Not by Belliard for the second out. Granderson, absolute. Like what, we're in Cleveland? That one landed in... Uh, I don't know where Cleveland is ge geographically in Ohio. We'll say it landed in uh, Cincinnati. So I'm pretty sure Cincinnati's along the whatever Great Lake is there. Anyways, grounded to Khalil Green over to Giambi for the third out. Three up and three down for your Toronto Blue Jays. But heading to the bottom of the fifth now, leading off is number six, Khalil Green. Only five RBIs in the sixth spot. Only one strikeout for Guthrie tonight, and that, that was, uh, I believe, uh, Wilson went down looking. Hard hit to Lowell. Plenty of time for the out. Here's Monroe, only seven RBIs. Between their six and seven spot, only two home runs. And it seems like they're in a pretty hitter-friendly ballpark, if you ask me, with the wind constantly in their favor. There's the second out. Here's Wilson, 0 for 1, went down looking his first time up. 12 RBIs, strike one. Strike two. And he gets a piece of that one over the, girl of, over the glove of low. We'll say that five times fast. And he's got himself a single on a no two count. And the base hit given up. No big deal. Last batter in the lineup, Cleet Thomas. Oh. Oh, got the force out at second anyway. Give up the one hit. Once again, no big deal. Still a six run cushion for Guthrie. Top of the sixth. And the top of the Jays lineup with Rich Aurelia. One for three tonight.
416 batting average, only three home runs, what, 37 RBIs? Fouled that one way back. Strike one. Strike two on the corner. It's the 0-2. And he read that one just right, but it's right to Bellard. First out. Durham, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Gotta go fast. Anyways, apologize for the Sonic X reference. Durham is 0 for 3 with 3 ground outs. Strike 1 there. Strike 2. Here's the 1 2 Durham 0 for 3. Let that one go by. Count is even at 2 and 2. That one off the plate again. Full count, 3 and 2. Gets a piece of it. That's hit to the shortstop. Khalil Green. Oh, he messes it up. That's going to go down as an error for him. So Durham still doesn't have a hit, but here's Lance Berkman facing a tired Casilla. And he clobbers that one. Is that one going to have enough? Second home run of the game for Lance Berkman, 4-4. Four four. Another two RBIs. Should have been one, but Green messed that up, and we made him pay for it. Home run 34 on the season for Burke Nowitzki, and it, where we've reached double digits, it's now 10 1. Let's check the replay of that. Swinging out the first pitch right now, it's really working out for us. That got to the second row out there above the mini wall, mini green monster. They're keeping him in to face Rios, 2 for 3 with two singles. Plenty of. He has a 447 batter average. 18 home runs now, but before I was 17, and before 67 RBIs, but now it's 68. That one was crushed by Alex Rios, 462 feet, and not as much as Granderson, but you'll never see a ball hit that far again, I think. Anyways, 11-1. Double-digit lead we now have. They're taking Casil out of there with a 4-4-4 ERA. And here's Para. The lefty, he's facing Ryan Braun, and he's tired. You're going to wait for it, Brian. Come on now. That one got away from him, but it's way up high for ball one. That one's hit, and it's hit foul again. 1-1 one, one now. That one gets away from him. That, he has to dodge out of the way. We have not got hidden by a pitch yet this season. We just do not crowd the plate. Anyways, 2-2. Two and two. Hits that one. Didn't get the greatest contact on it. Thomas is there. Second out. Now, I remember, they were just burning. Yeah, they're going to burn through their bullpen again. I don't know what they're doing here. Here's Peugeot facing Mike Lowell. Still hungry for a cycle. And he hits that one. And he'll get himself a single, but he's still got to get a triple and a home run for the cycle. Here's Luke Scott, one for three. Lefty righty matchup, that's what we like to see. Strike one. Ball one. Hits that one hard. Not hard enough. Thomas is there. Catches the third out. It's three runs. Ten run lead, nine run cushion for Guthrie. He's facing the top of the lineup in Frank Hort. It's their third time through the lineup in the bottom of the sixth. His ERA is back under two, which I like to see. Durham runs that grounder down. Throws it over to Berkman. First out. Here's Beller. One for two tonight with a single. Strike one on the corner perfectly. Here's the 0-1. Makes contact with that. Oh, our team's going to have a hard time running that one down. And he gets himself another base hit. They limit it to a single. But now here's David Ortiz. So I think just pitch away from him. There we go, strike one. He read that one well. And he read it so damn well, it's over. All right. Guthrie, the quality start is now in jeopardy. Ortiz with the second home run of the day. At least his win is in jeopardy, which I guess is the most important part. 11-3. You cannot pitch to this. He's like, apparently every other team in simulation can pitch to him except us. Here's Chipper Jones. There's strike one. Strike two. Oh, 50-50 ball to knock go away. Could have been strike three. 
And he hits that one up the middle, and that's going for a base hit. So they get three base hits in a row. Just gotta calm down. Here's Jombie. He's right around the Mendoza line. You got him. Oh, he almost got us there. He almost got us again. Now it's an 0-2 count. Just go all out with the breaking pitches. Gets a piece of that one. Rios runs it down. It's two outs, man on first. Let's check his array quickly. Khalil Green, 0 for 2. It's in the two low twos now. Strike one to Green. That one's going for a base hit up to center again. Limit them to first and second. Two outs. It's Monroe. Ball one. Okay, I was so confident I did my little hand motion with that. There's strike one on the curve. Reaching on that. Aurelius got it. So Jeremy keeps the quality start. It's just a shame David Ortiz is responsible for all the RBIs right now. Top of the seventh, Paulo Duca leads off. He still need a base hit. Swings so that one right to Bellard again. A lot of the pitches are going that way. Or a lot of the hit balls, I should say. Here's Granderson, one for three with the home run. And he crushes that one. Is that going to be the second? It's go. Yes, it is. Second home run of the day for Curtis Granderson. It didn't get... He was short like 70 feet compared to his other pitch. His other home run, excuse me. That's the second of the day. 22 on the season. We get one of those runs back. One, two, three. We have a nine-run lead. That one's going to get a replay, and he got hold of that one, certainly. That one's out of there. Here's Richarilia, one for four tonight. He can go ahead and hit the baseball how he likes. Huge cut at that splitter. Strike one. Ball one. Ball two. That one's hit hard. Is that one going to have enough on it? Nope. At the warning track, Francora catches it. Second out. Here's Durham. 0 for 4. Come on, Ray. You cannot go 0 for 5. Ball 1. Strike 2. Or strike 1, excuse me. 1-1 one, one count. Gets a hold of that one. Is that by? Green dives for it. And he throws it across. Just gets him. Alrighty, seventh inning stretch. I have it today. But a good luck, Water. Let's take a look at how the game's going. We are 12 for 16. They're 3 for 7. David Ortiz, 3. Cleveland Indians, excuse me, Toronto Blue Jays, 12. So I think, you know, I'll let Goo 3 one more runner in scoring position. Then we'll go to our relief pitching. Actually, no. I'll probably let one more across but it's even a situation as we all know that it's one two three strikes you're out at the old ball game but it's just a matter of do we want to conserve a bullpen because i think they've probably been putting in a bit of work lately all right q3 you got to face ortiz one more time no matter what unless i take you out before then fell back by wilson here's an 0-2 count now Mistake, it got away from him, but still got him swinging. Got lucky there. There's Thomas, only nine RBIs, one home run, batting 250 on the dot, strike one. Strike two. That's going up. Falls for a base hit. Some man on first, one out. And here's Frank Hoare, righty righty matchup. Good three's getting tired out there. Deep throw from Loa. Will it get him? Yes, it will. So this will probably be his last inning on the mound. Then we can put him whoever. Strike two. That's go You know what? Oh, that's going to score. Okay, all right. We're taking you out. It's okay. Whatever. You know what? Now nah, we'll put in uh, Tony Valoni. Even though I'm looking at her starters. Yeah, we'll probably have we'll probably need Danks to start the next game, so instead it'll be Tony Valoni coming in. I'll say let's put in Danks. No. We need him. There's ball one. 
Could have gone for a strike. Oh, man. Oh, he hit that one. Lowell, across. He is not a good runner. Got him already. So we're out of the jam there. Allowed the one run. It's no big deal. Let's see if we can get around to Durham again. See if he can get a hit. Here's Berkman, four for four. Home run single, home run single. Oh, make it a hat trick, ladies and gentlemen. Berkman with his third home run. Shame there were no men on base, but that's what happens. We're not going to complain about a free run, can we? There we go. 13-4 lead for Toronto. And here's Rios. He's looking for a cycle. And it looks like uh, he's tired out there. Pushes the heck out of that one, and that's going foul. That probably would hit the foul pole somehow. And Bergeau. Strike one. Ball one. Ball two. Clobbers that one. Is that one going? It's going. And that one's out of here dead center. 433 feet. Rios has another one. Number 19 on the season for him. And now it's double digit lead yet again. 14-4. They're taking him out. They don't want him to face Ryan Braun. Also looking for a cycle. Here's Rosario. First pitch Braun hits is going foul again. So it's an 0 1 count. 1 and 1. Change up just below the zone. 50 50 ball does not go away. 1 and 2. Got to hold that change up. Giambi steps on the bag for the first out. Here's Lowell still looking for a cycle. Ball 1. Ball two. Ball three. All right. Next, ne ne let next one goes by guaranteed. Drew the four pitch walk. Here's Luke Scott, one for four. Facing another righty pitcher, so that will benefit him. Ball one. I thought that was a strike. That call definitely went our way. Ball two again. It's gonna be another four pitch walk, maybe. That call went his way. Two and one. Just keeping an eye on Lowell. And still, the win has been ever in the hitter's favor all night. That one's hit into the gap. That's going to fall for an extra base hit. We're going to have men on second and third. One out. So now Scott's looking for a cycle. Oduka 0 for 4. Let's see if you can at least get another sack fly. Strike 1. Strike 2. Both in the zone there. One and two. He's tired out there. Two and two. Full count. Payoff pitch to Paulo Duca. Bases are loaded. They're taking him out wisely so. They're putting in Harden. Let's see if... Granderson wants a hat trick of his own. Now would be the time to have one. Ball one. All of the guys on the bases have L names. Anyways, that's it. Giambi. Are they going to get a double play? Granderson has speed. Gets one more RBI. Really up? I want it. I want it badly. Come on now. Let's get another home run here. Frank Thomas, 250. Only one RBI. Yet to hit his first home run of the season. Strike one on the splitter. Hits that one hard. Nice dive by Giambi. Steps on the bag and that's it. Oh well, still got another three runs across the plate. Bottom of the eighth now. Replace Thomas defensively. No, not pitcher. Alrighty, Torres, get in there. You're playing out of position, but that's all good. Here's Tony Valoni pitching to Chipper Jones now. Strike one. Strike two. Strike three. That's how you do it. One, two, three. Nice first out. John B. 0 for 3 tonight. Let's see if we can make it 0 for 4. Ooh. That was some nasty business there. He got a piece of that. 
Bergman steps on first base for the second out. Here's Khalil Green, one for three tonight. Ball one just missed. That one's up to Ray Durham, throws him out. Three up and three down again for the Cleveland Indians. Last inning of batting, here's Durham's chance to not go hitless, 0 for five. We're treating this like the bases are loaded, two outs, bottom of the ninth, we need a win. It's that, strike one. Ball one there on the splitter. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Oh, missed that one badly. Oh, he hit that so hard it caused the game to slow down. Well, he swung so hard, excuse me. Win only a factor of one. Still slightly in the hitter's favor. Is that one caught by Jones. So Durham 0 for 6 tonight, it looks like. Let's see if he can have a four home run game. I thought it was crazy when Braun did it. This would be even crazier. Twice in one season. Going back. No way. Four home runs for Berkman. Only two other times has a Blue Jay done that. Until now. Oh, that felt good. 16 for another four home run game. Berkman has matched their, like, he could have hit all solo shots and he matches their RBIs. Yep, there goes number four. Whole, twice in a season. I can't believe that actually happened. Oh, Rios, he's looking for a hat trick. He's four for five. Strike one. Ball one. This is now the Lance Berkman legacy game. Strike one. Or strike two, excuse me. Hits that one right to Bellard. Throws him out. Second out. Down to our last out here is Mike L or Ryan Braun, excuse me. Two for five tonight. Oh, that one's gone. They got to stop making mistakes. Is that over the bullpen? Not quite. 39 now on the season for him. Second home run of the night. We have been hitting the cover off this ball. We're not quite at that 24 mark. But we do have 17 and a 13 run lead. Oh, he's getting angry out there. Come on, come on, come on. Keep getting angry. You still gotta get, hey, it's just one more out. It's just one more out, Mr. Harden. Ball two. Your field moves back for Mike Lowell. It's funny, at this point, the win's only a factor of one, so it isn't that helpful. It's three and oh. Takes that splitter easy, three and one. That one's hit. Not out of here, but Lowell gets himself another base hit. Here's a Luke Scott. He's looking for a cycle, too. Harden's still upset out there. Keeping an eye on Lowell. Strike one. Perfect top left corner. And Scott gets a hold of that one. That's going deep to left. Got him. Two-run shot for Luke Scott, and there's another home run for your Toronto Blue Jays. Unbelievable right now, ladies and gentlemen. Holy, we're one short, come on. And if you flipped it around, it if we get one more, it'd be 420. Here's Laduca. Oh, yeah, get the hell out of there, Harden. He had the animation. Here's Loesch. Tell you what, I'm not too satisfied. Oh, let's see, who do we got? DNC. Ian, you know what? We'll put him with the other catcher we have, Jose Molina. It's his first S bat of the season. Let's see how he does. Strike one. This is number 26, Patrick Elias. Got him with the changeup, strike two. Ball one. Ooh, that was close. Ball two. Molina fouls that one off. Staying tough. Two and two again. Gets a hold of that one. Right to Bellard. There's their third out, finally. So, batting's done for the Jays today. 19 for 23. Another four runs. Incredible. We only went scoreless in two innings. And they've only scored in three innings. Not counting this one. No changes I have to make.
There's number one. So I'm thinking, do we put in Lindstrom if they get something going here? Oh, okay, that was a little silly looking, but Durham throws him out. And Klee Thomas, bottom of the lineup, one for three. Hey, you're going to run into him. Alrighty, that's the ball game, everybody. 19-4, to four, we were one short of the funny number, but hey, you look on the bright side, another four home run game, this time for Lance Berkman. Of course, our two biggest sluggers. It'd have to be those two if they were going to get it. Incredible. Let's take a look at the highlights. Top of the second. And once again, we were trailing in this game. Ortiz with a solo shot to make it 1-0. Look where we are now. Top of the second. Boom. Is that out of there? Is that a sack fly? Yep, that was a sack fly. Top of the ninth. That was Scott's. You know, that was like Rajay Davis's hit in uh, game seven. Same kind of hit. I think Davis is also left handed, I want to say, but yeah. That's the ball game. Loduca is somehow the player of the game despite the. What is this right here? Lance Berkman hit four home runs tonight. Oh, we're calling an audible on that. No, it is Lance Berkman. Guthrie walks away with the win. Very nice. You know, we got to check how many home runs we got today. Guthrie, 6-0 now. Escobar, 1-3. Ortiz, 6-7. Berkman, 33, 34, 35, 36. Rios, 18-19. Braun, 38, 39. Scott, 14. Granderson, 21, 22. Let's check our stats. Yep. Yeah, four home runs, only five RBIs. Just one more than the minimum, but hey, you take it. I really got an RBI. Granderson at three. Then, yeah, two for Rios, two solo shots. Braun, four RBIs. Scott at three. Luduka. Luduka only had one. Like, why is he player of the game? It should be Berkman. Three with the win, six and two thirds. Baloney pitched in relief brilliantly. ZRA is now still a low two. It's only 2.36, but still, you want it to be better than that. Anyways, now, let's take a look at around the league here. Let's see, so, Yankees lost. Rays lost. Orioles won. Red Sox lost 3-1. and one. That's great. It was a slugfest in Los Angeles, 12-4. 16-1 for the Rangers. A lot of double-digit scores around here other than us, but, of course, we had the most. Then, if you're boring like me and you would want to watch defense, you can watch a game in New York or in San Francisco. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this video here. First two games went great against the Cleveland Indians, but we still got two games to go against them. So, we're going to see what happens in game three, and I'll see you then for that.